Welcome, Independence, to another episode of your favorite series, Indu Answers, where we take the tough questions we figure it out together. This is your host, Coach Drew. Today we're going to talk about vertical jump. Let's dunk. Now, everybody responds to things differently, but in our program, most people get about two and a half inches on their vertical jump in the first four weeks. So we're gonna take some of those principles that they apply, we're gonna give them to you so that you can start implementing them in your own life. Now, unfortunately guys, donkey's not for everyone. You're in the arms of the angel. But that doesn't mean jumping higher isn't. So let's talk about it. Think of explosive movements like jumps as power, right? We already think of it as power, but I'm talking physics. The formula for power is power, equals force times velocity. So that F, force, is where we want to really focus on to start. Getting stronger is one of the easiest ways to increase power production. If you take your squat from 100 to 200 pounds, you've ultimately doubled your force production in that range of motion. And squats and vertical jumps are very similar movement pattern. In fact, one of the studies that I have published looked at how we can acutely improve squat jump performances after a heavy squat. So we have shown that squats long-term improve vertical jumps, but also short-term, as in a squat followed by a jump, improves vertical jump performance. The second part of that formula is velocity. Think of this as a high-speed movement that's not loaded. So we're talking plyometrics or light-loaded exercises. Definitely not a heavy slow back squat. There are a million rules I can give you when it comes to plyometrics, but we're gonna stick to three core concepts today. Number one, adaptation is stress-specific. Let's say you're working out and you've got box jumps that day. If you're not jumping with max intended power, then you're not gonna improve your max power. If you're jumping at 80% and you adapt to an 80% vertical jump and you either wind up getting really good at jumping 80% or your vertical jump drops down to that threshold, train at max power. This brings me to my second point. Intent is everything in plyometrics training. If you intend to move as fast as possible, even if you're having a bad day, some research shows that you'll adapt to a higher velocity. If you're telling your muscles to move at a faster rate of contraction, your nerves will adapt to a faster rate of contraction. Not all adaptation is muscle specific. Our nerves can do things to improve our performance, and that's something that you want to work on as well. Lastly, don't fall victim to the curse of over jumping. If you're doing training where jumping is a part of conditioning, back out of that immediately. If you're doing jumping and you find you can't jump as high as you could a few minutes ago, back out of that training. If you're doing explosive movements and you feel like you're about to pass out, back out of that movement. If you want to get closer to dunking, every single jump you have has to be max power. And once you fall below that threshold and you fatigue, get out of it. You're not doing yourself any benefits by jumping underneath your threshold. If you apply these simple principles to all of your training, you're going to find that your vertical jump slowly but surely works its way up. And if you want it to go up even faster, come find us. We're the program for you. What's, what animal can jump the highest? I think my understanding is like ticks can jump really, really far. Jump like a tick. Oh, but ticks only jump like two inches off no, the ground. No, actually they jump several feet. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, ticks can jump really far. <laughs> Yeah, you're so particular, you don't want to be as strong as an ant, but yeah. you're going to jump like a tick. Okay, it's not my fault that ants can barely lift a leaf, but a tick can actually jump several feet. That's, that's, a that's horrifying. I'm never it's, going camping again. Right? Like, people are like, how do I get a tick? I must lay it in the That bad boy probably jumped like 20 feet and stuck <laughs> to you. This is at the campsite next door. This is the next campsite. It's like, 